Hi, I'm Gareth Tidwell from the iSchool at the Rochester Institute of Technology. I'll be presenting my paper called Nuanced Perspectives Towards Disability Simulations from Digital Designers, Blind, Low Vision and Colorblind People. Digital designers should make their work accessible, and there are many different resources available to do this, such as guidelines, methods, and accessibility tools. Designers sometimes use disability simulations to evaluate the accessibility of their work. A designer may enable a screen filter that adjusts colors to simulate color blindness, or they may wear a blindfold with the intention of identifying how a blind person might use a system. However, Simulations are problematic for many reasons. Simulations perpetuate misconceptions about disability and cannot accurately represent the lived experience of a disabled person. Simulations are harmful and can exclude disabled people from being included in the design process. There is a lot of really important research in this area, so please consult my paper for a review and I encourage that you read those original papers as well. My goals with this project was to first understand the reasons why designers are using disability simulations, and then share this information with disabled people to collect their thoughts on alternative solutions, considerate of any stated design process challenges. There are a few take-home messages that my paper offers, but I'm choosing to highlight that few digital designers realize the problematic nature of using disability simulations. I first distributed an online questionnaire to understand how designers perceive simulations. I received 92 responses. Most of the simulations that my participants said they used were for vision impairments. Designers mentioned using simulations to learn about different impairments and to overcome limited resources such as no funds for running user studies. The designers also felt that simulations were reliable and improved the final design. However, the designers also acknowledge some disadvantages, mainly needing to make time to use simulations, finding that methods or tools do not fit within their workflow, the final design could be unappealing, and simulations cannot replace real people. It is promising that some designers recognized several limitations, but less than half actually expressed this concern, and three designers believed simulations had no disadvantages. Because designers are mostly using vision impairment simulations, I focused on interviewing blind, low vision, and colorblind people. I had 17 interviews and shared my survey findings to guide a conversation on what appropriate support might look like while addressing the design process constraints that make simulations appealing. The two overarching themes were one, many paths can connect designers and disabled people in place of simulations, and two, Change is needed within workplace processes, culture, and staffing. Please read my paper for a deeper discussion around those themes. So my findings echo prior work and current conversations that advocate for more expert input from disabled people during the design process, which will also increase digital content accessibility. Limited funding and access to disabled people were two reasons that designers gave for pursuing the use of simulations. So reflecting on how to support digital designers in overcoming constraints, my interviewees emphasized that hiring disabled people to work within companies is important, so long as the role is created as an integral part of the design team rather than as a token position. Yet some designers are self-employed, in these instances, collaboration can be sought through organizations. Designers must be proactive in seeking support through local, national, and online spaces, but this has to be approached in a sensitive way, that is, not taking over safe spaces intended for other purposes. This will likely take some effort in establishing clear boundaries and avenues for designers to follow. So I encourage you to read my paper for more details. Thank you.